positively provides information about HIV. Talk with your medical provider before making medical decisions. Being positive since 2001, um, it's been a roller coaster ride. Taking care of myself and, and, and staying on my regimen and be taking, you know, adhering to my meds and adhering to the care. Um, it's only been the past four years that I can say that I've actually been at the tip top shape and the best health that I've probably ever been in the 10 years. As of now, I live each day to the fullest and I look forward to tomorrow. Um, I never think that it is a death sentence. It's a unique part of being who I am now. Um, and with that, it's, it, it builds the character and builds who you are. You know, I just, I, I can't look at it as being that way. If you look at it as being the death sentence, you're looking for tomorrow never to come. Let's take a closer look at how to manage HIV so it doesn't progress to AIDS. We're going to lay out a four-step program for taking control of your life from now on. If you follow the program, you will have a good chance at a longer, stronger life. Let's talk about the four steps that will get your HIV under control. Visit your HIV provider, take your medicine, care for yourself, and know your CD4 and viral load. I've been HIV positive for more than seven years. And the way I got control of my disease was to realize that it's up to me to make my life better. No excuses. It's what you have to do. Meet Yvonne, who is one of my favorite HIV specialists. She's cared for people with HIV for years. And I will see you next month. I've seen hundreds of patients living with HIV, and I can tell you the folks who keep their medical appointments are the ones most likely to feel better and stay healthy. Step one, go to your HIV appointments no matter what. Go if you're worried about something. Go if you're feeling ill and you know you need medical care. But it's also really important to go to HIV medical appointments even if you feel fine. You and your provider need to make sure your virus is managed. Go if you're having side effects from your HIV medicine. Go even if you didn't take your medicine. There's nothing HIV providers haven't heard before. And we can't help you if we don't know what's up. Here are some tips for getting the most out of your medical visits. Write down your worries and questions. If you're nervous, try practicing your questions with a friend before you go. If the HIV provider uses big words, don't be afraid to ask what they mean. Insist that everyone caring for you speaks plain English. Don't let the doc get all medical on you. This is your life, and it's your right to understand HIV. If medical visits stress you or you speak another language, you might want to bring a trusted relative or friend to help you listen and ask questions. If you need help, ask someone to sit with you when you're filling out forms. Finally, don't hold back. Be upfront, tell the real deal. HIV providers can't help you if you don't tell them what's going on. Step two, take your HIV medicine every day at the same time every day. If you don't have the money, most people can get HIV medicine for little or no money. If you don't take your HIV medicine on time every day, there could be serious consequences. Your medicine may stop working. Then we'll need to find a new medicine. The new pills may have worse side effects, and we may run out of medicines to try. HIV medicines can have side effects. Your body can feel bad, or you can be emotionally upset. Work with your provider if the medicine makes you feel bad. Remember that HIV medicine is forever. You need a routine that works for you, same time, every day. Step three in HIV management is to take care of yourself. It's about more than taking medicine and seeing your HIV provider. It's about making lifestyle changes. Stay away from used needles. If you inject drugs, use clean needles every time and don't share needles. Stay away from unprotected sex. Use condoms every time for every kind of sex. Used needles or unprotected sex may give you another type of HIV or another infection such as hepatitis and may give your partners HIV. There are resources at the end of this section about using condoms for safer sex and about needle exchange programs and cleaning needles. 
HIV can affect your appetite, so eat nourishing foods, fruits, veggies, protein, drink water, try to avoid fried foods, limit sodas and sweet drinks, take care of your teeth, see the dentist, get some exercise, most everyone can walk, get plenty of sleep, your body repairs itself while you're asleep, so give it the rest it needs, with HIV, you're more at risk of getting infections. So be careful around people who are sick. It's okay to keep a pet. Just be careful. Wash your hands after petting them. Stay away from pet poop and pets who are sick. Take care of your body and your soul. Get into what makes your life good. Family, school, work, religion, clubs. You do better when you have people around who support you. Even if you can't find support at home, there are groups of people living with HIV who are ready to share. Ask your healthcare provider or the health department about support groups in your area. Caring for yourself will keep you strong, help you fight infections. The last step in our four-step program is know your lab numbers, your CD4 T cells and viral load. Knowledge is power. Your labs tell you how you're doing. You want your body's defenders, your CD4 T cells going up, and your HIV levels, your viral load going down. Ask your provider about your labs each time you visit. Follow your progress. A chart may help you keep track. Your viral load should go down and stay down. Your CD4 should go up and stay up. If they don't, ask yourself, am I taking my medicine on time every day? So that's it, the four-step HIV management program. Visit your HIV specialist, take your HIV medicine on time every day, care for yourself, and know your lab numbers. Live long and stay strong.